In this video, I want to go over some of the other things that we haven't really covered yet. And so I've made this model a long time ago, which is um, the iPod Touch second generation. And so this was done in a different software, but uh, the whole point here is to take these nice surfaces and just simplify them so that we can use them to go over some things. Um, and the first thing I want to go over is how to create part lines. So for example, if we want to separate the back of this object from the front, which would be the screen in this case. And let's say we want to create a nice highlight in between the two parts, because we want to make them look like they are two very different parts. So the way you would do that is I've already made some curves here, but basically the way I made them was by going under the curve tool, the curve edit tools, actually no, the curve from objects tools. And you can duplicate the edges of your surface or you can duplicate the whole border. And the border is going to be the entire outline of that surface. So that's what I've done. And then I've offset that. And let's do that again, actually. Um, I'm going to want to offset that by, let's say, something like 0.3. Something like that. I'll delete the previous one I had made. And now what that does, it creates two curves. One that's the outline, one that is the offset. And that's what I'm going to use to figure out where the highlight begins and where the highlight ends, basically. Um, so let's do that really quickly. I'm going to go from the front view. And let's see, where is this curve? Right here. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to trim the outside surface, which would be this one. Now if I go back in perspective, I can see there's going to be a gap in between the screen and this. Escape. Um, one thing you can notice is that it has no thickness. And that's another thing I wanted to cover in this video. Um, if you have something complicated like that, and you want to give it thickness, there's a few ways you can do it. So just to show you a quick example, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to separate the screen and show you how to do that. So uh, one way to give thickness to a surface or a curve is to extrude. So you can extrude. Extrude, let's see. Surface, extrude, S-E-L. SRF, yeah, extrude surface, this one. Um, so just click on that and then you can give thickness to any surface or curve. So that's one way to do that. Um, and the other way to do it is like if you do extrude on something like this, it's not really going to work. Now you can change the direction and make it straight and that's going to be more accurate. But that's not what we want to do. So let's try something else. We'll try to offset. And if we try to offset... Yeah, if you try to offset this, it's not going to work because it's trying to offset the curve. So now we've created a curve which is offsetted. So the, the tool I want to use here is an offset of an actual surface, offset surface. And in here, if you click on the whole grouped or joined surfaces. You can choose the direction. You can also flip it. Um, the way you flip it is right here. Flip all. So let's say we want to give it thickness but on the inside. So we would do that and then choose how thick we want it to be. So if the part line is something like, I forgot what it was, but let's say it's going to be a thickness of 0.3. I think that's what it was. Um, enter. And it should give us some decent results. Now it's never going to be perfect because it's a very complicated surface, but most of the time it's going to give you some really nice results. And so for something like that, 
it should work really well. And one of the reasons why it worked this time is because this surface is nice and clean, uh, everything is joined properly, and the thickness is very small, so that helped a lot. Uh, if the thickness was one, it would probably be too much because um, these surfaces would get really close to each other on the inside right here. Um, but you get the point. So if you want to create thickness for something very complex, you can always offset surface as a solid and you can also do it with a flat surface so if I do offset offsetting a surface with the solid option we can make the screen 0.3 units and if we look at it that's it it's the same as doing an extrusion um, so that's one way to create material thickness and then to kind of finish the whole thing off you can do a fillet edge and this will give it a nice highlight. Now, if the thickness is 0.3 and you want to run the outside, the bare minimum would be anything below 0.3. So I'm going to change the radius size to 0.2. And that should give it a nice small highlight on this, on this edge. So that's one of the quickest way to kind of give thickness to your surfaces and then add a quick highlight so that when you render it, it's going to look really nice and soft. Now, one of the things I haven't really looked at is whether they actually intersect because when you thick on something, it looks at the orientation of that surface. And in this case, I have no idea if it's going to be flush or if it just kind of crashes into, into each other. So you really have to pay attention to that. Since it's a quick demo, I haven't, uh, haven't looked at it too closely for this one. And it seems like in my case, it is going to work. And by the way, if you see something like this, let me hide that. So you see here, there's like a strange edge. Uh, that's actually not an issue. It's part of the settings, so if you go down to your properties, your options, you can go into the mesh, and if you do the mesh preview, you can kind of see it in this view here, uh, you can change the settings and you can customize it, or you can use the smooth, uh, slow um, render quality. And now if you look at it here, it doesn't do that anymore. It doesn't do the strange uh, shading. So it's nothing to worry about. So that's one way to do that kind of part line. You can simply give thickness to your parts and then you can fillet the edges. And if you've done it correctly, like if I move this inwards, what should happen is when you go under this display mode, you're going to get, you know, I have too many objects in that scene, uh, but if you just look at this, you can see there's a very soft highlight which separates the screen and the back surface. And it's something you kind of see in, in this type of, of products where everything is nice and polished up. Um, so it's something you really want to spend the time and, uh, and do for all of your products.